scene. There hey, guys. Go. Wow. There Did you someone start. say Westerns? Yes. Holy cow. <laughs> Well, I, it happened. I said it in it in some. Now, great, yes. now I want to go across this room and get my cowboy hat. Well, yeah, I feel like the blues traveler. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me change this off. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, I don't want to say Yellowstone too this much. Room and get a kiss from Jake because well, I, I, <laughs> I can see that too. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> get a. <laughs> uh, what's happening, dude? Not much, man. How have you guys been? Hey, Johnny, right. Jason, what's going on, dudes? Man, it's, it's good. Good seeing you. Good to see you. Good seeing I, you. We uh we missed you when oh, we were man. in Philly, and then we missed you yeah. on the Little Stinkers. So, yeah, I, I know. I was so I was so happy you guys did that. That was the most serious episode I think I've ever seen. You guys did great. That was we, awesome. we really dragged down all your ratings. Yeah, so was... <laughs> not, no, not at all. People were very interested. That's such a sad case, man. It, it is. It's hard to like joke about that one because yeah, they're still uh those victims, but. Yeah, you know, you know they're, yeah. they're children. Oh, oh right. You know, yeah. Well, kids, and it's yeah. still, and the case is still sort of it's lingering. Open. Yeah. It's open. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. What, yeah. Yeah, and it's like very fresh. Yeah. So, but uh, speaking of little stinkers, man, it is one of my favorite shows of all time. It's so funny, and uh, oh, dude, over the last like I don't know, a few months, you guys have like the energy there is just so fun and like there's like this ball busting thing that started happening on the show and it's so yeah fun, man. And, oh, uh, it's, it's terrifying <laughs> well, i can't hang with those guys when it comes to ball busting so i just like i just silently back out let them uh, fight and no, i'm like dude, all right you're, okay. you're the yeah you're the ultimate sniper you got a 50 cal <laughs> you may not fire as much but every yeah. shot you fire hits you know that's that's the truth okay and it's, it goes back to my paintballing days because like <laughs> Once I started packing on weight, I was like, all right, I can't run from these guys, and I am a big target. So just we'll put on a ghillie suit, ghillie wrap, suit wrap up in some leaves, and just yep. boom, get them. Yeah. <laughs> Take well, a nap in between. <laughs> it's, it's the big man's last resort when it comes to, you know, full yeah. arm combat. It's just the way to go. Yeah, I think fat guys invented snipers. That's what there was. Like, you know, guys, we'll just hang up on top of this yeah. building. Yeah, and, you uh, guys go. Yeah, We're going to make one trip. Okay, it's going to be a little long. Yeah, we're gonna stay there for a long time though, so it's fine. <laughs> it's yeah, a, it's, a, it's the all time quarterback rule. <laughs> like, yeah, but no, no, no. I'll, I'll throw it the whole time. We, you guys we, play. We already have we already have snacks and water. So yeah. yeah. Oh mean, my god, we're built. I mean, we yeah, and if you put us on top of a building, we're not going anywhere for at least no, six hours. We're like, no. we're, yeah, that's like a that's like a trek. That's a, that's our Everest is climbing to a top of a building. <laughs> oh, oh, you you mean you guys? I made it. You mean you guys peed in public? Going, yeah, three times a day. What the hell? You know, nothing. <laughs> we're, good. we're good. Yeah, we've had a problem with people peeing in public. I don't know, man. Dude, I can't. I mean, that's do like you my, guys really, dude. I'll do it. Like, I mean, not not. I don't seek it out, but I'll do yeah. it in front of a grocery store. In front of a grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> library. I'm a sniper. Usually, it's uh, I find it in public libraries, schools, those kinds of places where it happens. But no, um, like. I you're mean, trying we're, to buy Girl Scout cookies. Girl, yeah, yeah. Sir, excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, you can't pay with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, whatever. It's, it's subjective, man. I'll get your lemon meringue. <laughs> no, I, I, I've never had a problem with it. I guess it's like because you kind of you're around a dude. Here. You're a dude. Also, like growing up yeah. in kind of out in the yeah. If you're a proper dude, man, it's no problem. Just take away you. You turn your back to somebody. No, I can see people having problems, and with you it. continue the conversation. Oh, I struggle with it for sure. It's yeah. like having two belly buttons, and <laughs> one's an any, one's a ultra any, and uh, it's like a clown trying to shoot flower, like water out of the flower. That's what it's like. It's like very, uh yeah. Pray I, for the best. I think uh I don't like. Public rest. Well, I'll uh, obviously I'll go to public restroom. You don't like, like you don't like the trough. I don't like the conversation when somebody tries to the like if you're in two urinals. No and somebody, conversation. No, they, it happens, dude. Yeah, that, that that never happens. It happens at football games all the time. Do you and have a shirt will... that says "Ask me about my wiener"? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. uh you know, usually, uh, you know, we, it, it ends with a peak, and then we uh, we get out of there. You but... have a far too friendly energy. You guys not get the foot tap? What? No, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you pee publicly? Just rest stops? No, like I mean, the salad bar Mahoney keeps telling them about. <laughs> <laughs> like we're we're not, you know, we're not in 
a giant city. Like we didn't grow up in a giant city, so like you yeah. know, there's woods everywhere. You can just find yeah. a place, but like that's dangerous too, though. Like for real, I peed in the woods when I was, I think, in fifth grade or sixth grade, and then my like balls started hurting, and I had no idea why. I thought I had like a, a hernia or something. Mm-hmm. Turns out I had a tick on my balls. Oh, um, yeah. that got to be like the size of a fucking half dollar by the time we found it. I'm gonna say Ooh, that's a beer tick right there. Well, man. yeah, yeah. If you're a tick, man, <laughs> they go for they go for big game. Good yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. If you're a tick, balls are like that's balls and dick. That's like prime real that's, estate. Yeah. Yeah, it's flame and yawn for ticks. Yeah. (laughs) For a young man, they're like, it's only going to get better. Yeah, yeah. This is aging up for me. Yeah. Ticks are such fucking pedophiles. You know what? Yeah, they are. Now that I think about it. Fucking stupid ticks. (laughs) Sicko motherfuckers. I haven't seen a tick in a long time. Fucking tick heads. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Get it out, man. (laughs) This is a safe space. It's it's the most dangerous space. (laughs) You you know better than anyone. You you rule that space. Oh, man. You guys Uh, rule that space. No, no. Um, But I was going to ask you about, with Little Singers, your trips, Mm -hmm. especially um, the Florida. I know that we're going to see some videos coming up soon, but... Uh, you were in Eileen Warnos's home, Ooh. essentially, I guess. Yeah, very um, extended disturbing. stay. And was that as sexy as it sounded, or was that a <laughs> was, it was, was it creepy? I mean, it seems like it could be a little yeah. weird. It will definitely never leave my brain. Like yeah. it'll be the last thing I see before I die. I have like the whole life flash before my eyes, and then I'll go back to that room. That's mm. how terrifying it was. Really, it was just so dirty, dude. Like. We got food because we, we filmed something in the room and um, we went and got food real quick. And like the room was so dirty that we decided just to eat outside. That's how dirty the room was. <laughs> like, none of us, we were all fighting to not sit on the bed, like <laughs> uh, to do something. So, uh, yeah, it's it, I can't wait for you guys to see that stuff. It's pretty. You can't pretty tell awesome. me Del Calo only got food one time while you were at that room. There's no <laughs> way. You know what? Yeah, actually, yeah, we. It was Whoa. a busy day because what we 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 drove. I think it was like an hour from, hour and a half from like our Airbnb, maybe closer to two hours. So we stopped, got some food on the way. So there we go. We were good. Then we did everything we needed. Um, then got like dinner, had some beers in between because uh, we stopped at the uh, the last resort, um, which was her bar. her bar. And then, and then we went back, finished what we needed to do, and then. Uh yeah, and then it just got terrifying at night. It became like a full meth motel by eight p.m. Yeah, a like the question. lights of the hotel were off, or motel, I should say. All the mm-hmm. lights in the building were off, and it's just like three like they happened to be Mexican dudes. I don't like it's fine. They, like <laughs> it's, it didn't matter who it was, what whoever they were, they were just um playing very loudly Pandora Mexican radio, <laughs> nice. and uh, and just like walking by every single car, looking in the cars, just like hands behind the back, just like, it was a very small parking lot, and like he was just doing circles. He must have did like 30 while we were trying to load gear. That was very, uh, pretty awesome. That's the, uh, did he look like the shopkeeper from Zelda? Like, he's just kind of taking around. <laughs> they pretty, yeah, the, dude, he, yeah. They called that the Mexican flea market. Yeah. You look at the girls. <laughs> See, I wish I'd known ahead of time. I've given you guys some like Jesus Malverde stuff to stick on your dash. Ooh, so you properly uh, camouflage. Why do you yeah. have that stuff? Uh, that doesn't, doesn't you concern. were undercover? Yeah, yeah, for or... about five and a half, six years. <laughs> Fucking Sicario, dude. <laughs> um, you collect weird things when you work dope. <laughs> so, yeah, you so like I know there are places I've gone where I'm getting I get this feeling like. Just uh, you know, you the, the there's nothing out of place or or you know, out of the ordinary in the place, but just you get a feeling, yeah. a creepy feeling. It's an so, imprint, right? Yeah. I guess. So I guess that's what you're you're saying about that. That's a hundred percent. Yeah. Because when we got there, as soon as we got out of the car, we're like, man, this place is like a shithole. It's so bad. Yeah. And then the guy gave um, Mike went to the front desk to get the key and everything, checking because he put the reservation under his name. Um, and the guy comes to the d- uh, door. He's like an older Indian guy, unlocks the door, then takes off his shoes and walks into the room barefoot to show him around an eight by 10 room. <laughs> it was amazing. like amazing. Yeah, it was uh, very strange. Um, but I've been told later that may have been like a uh, cultural thing. I don't know. But barefoot in someone's room that they're renting from you, don't do it. 
Yeah, yeah, that's it's weird. Seems man. like a lot in this that's, country. Just stay out of the room. Yeah. Well, <laughs> right? yeah. well there, there's there's clearly, you know, a needle factor at play somewhere at some yeah. point in there. So barefoot's not the move. Well, like a sewing, yeah, sewing kit. Yeah, dude, because everybody's yeah. got you yeah. know, tough, you know, working on working those streets. Yeah, it's still a hole in your jeans. <laughs> you gotta put a patch on them. Yeah, I figured. That... <laughs> I do have to ask at the bar: Did anyone have the balls to play "Come on, Eileen" while you were there on the jukebox, <laughs> dude? You know what's funny? I don't think the jukebox was act like they had a jukebox inside the bar itself, but the bar itself was like empty. It was like used for storage. It was wide open, like the doors were open. You could just walk in, but nobody was there. Like you could fully Shit. just like take everything from the place. They have a wall of boobs from like customers, a lot of old ladies. Um, <laughs> impressive stuff, I should say. Um, but uh, yeah, the bar itself with the jukebox was empty, and then there was like a weird, like, like very handmade tiki bar out back, and that's where everyone was hanging out. Nice. And uh, yeah, dude, a lot of cool. You were talking about cool shit, like. They just like you tell this guy's just clearly a hoarder and just has everything. And then there's a huge shrine to uh alien right there. It's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Her story always like it always struck me as more sympathetic. I don't know why. Like, yeah, it's because she's a woman and I, you know, there's a that whole misogyny thing I have going on. But uh yeah, make them upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But station. Yes, yeah, yes. you told Grant, Grant told me. But her story isn't <laughs> that far off from like some of these other guys, mm-hmm. as far as being the abuse level, oh, it's yeah. just that she, I don't know. She's a woman. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's what it is. Charlie's Theron, that's why. Yeah, that, Maybe, yeah that's, that's when they, probably play, plays a big factor into it. As soon as they probably. cast her, they're like, oh my God, this is this poor woman. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. What a compelling story, though. Yes. Like, all that stuff is nuts. Let's pay attention to her. I know that <laughs> yeah. movie had, had a lot of things that were inaccurate about it, but well, it's still Charlie's Theron being possibly far and away the number one <laughs> yeah like you said yeah. That, that it actually happened on the fucking moon dude may have still a little bit more accurate than charlie's throat playing. <laughs> dude that's like if they made it now and they cast margot robbie yeah to play. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane to me well yeah i mean that they did do that with tanya harding which i know you guys are just talking yeah, about on, yeah on, you know episode. that is true um I gotta finish that. I watched part of it this morning and laughed my ass off. Dude, she uh she's insane. Like in a good way. Like I oh yeah, I totally yeah. want to hang out with her. Last night somebody tagged us in something um about John Hinckley Jr. No, oh. and his Twitter is just like full of like uh hey guys, I'm available for interviews. Yep. And I'm like yeah. ah. it would I'm it's... like I don't know if Danny would let me invite him to the studio. Is it time like, to man, pull that trigger? Where's he? Where's he from? Is he from like? Uh, what is he? I don't now? know. Um, but I know like he just posted something in like Virginia, so he's close. And I was like, man, could you imagine if I bring him to Danny's studio, Good Boy Studios? This is great. They've been doing a lot of awesome stuff. Yes, uh, yes. Good Boy Comedy and all that. So check that out. Um, just amazing. It would be fun to like bring John Hingley Jr. to that studio and then have a jam session with him on camera. I'd love to do like a John Hingley unplugged kind of thing. Oh my god! You know what I mean? And then just ask him questions in between songs. Like it's a uh, storytellers. Yeah, yeah, like an NPR <laughs> tiny desk concert. Oh my god, dude, that is brilliant! Dude. Like NPR tiny gun concert. Because because he keeps talking about wanting to jam with people, and he's got all these songs that he's written. Dude. It's like that's if you can get him perfect. to say this one goes out to Jody, and then play "Hard Luck Woman" by Kids. Oh my god! Well, dude, that's the thing is like I didn't realize that this whole time like he wasn't convicted because of like mental health or something like that. So this yeah. whole time just kind of been under supervision. So now that he's like free, this has got to be overwhelming and like reigniting a lot of stuff. It has to, right? So like I'm also terrified of even trying to communicate with the guy. But it would be fun, like because with that, I'm sure you can't mention anything of the assassination, right? So I think what I would do is like just have a fun conversation and just have like a lightning round of questions and be like, hey, who um who's your favorite president? <laughs> yeah. And then be like, okay, cool. Uh, who's your least favorite president? <laughs> Funny enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hillary. Just what? Obama. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, <laughs> yeah. It was actually Jimmy Carter, and I. Uh, <laughs> man, be weird if he was a, a Q guy. You're like, hey, you know what? Maybe that. Maybe the no, hospital thing. That not funny. Enough. I, I fully see him as a Q guy. He could totally. Yeah. I mean, with everything that he had going on. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That I mean. I, I understand I the, the reasons not wanting that to happen, but yeah, that would be amazing if it could I'm, happen. I mean, if he could find the president and attempt make an attempt on his life 
like the last thing I want to do is have my dumb self <laughs> try to reach out to him, upset him, and then just get murdered going to like uh I don't know, Trick fil A. Yeah. Yeah, the you lack know? of sympathy you would get for getting oh, murdered by him in that scenario. Yes. Is probably not great. You know what? Because yeah, I poke the bear. Right? Yeah. Like yeah. And what's funny is like his his image, like him now, he could walk down the street and nobody wouldn't really recognize him. Like no. He doesn't really he hasn't been out and present enough to where he's a public figure again. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So he could, fi- he could find places to hide. He could well, like walk sure. upon you. And yeah, he-, he looks like old Biff now. For the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funny enough. He does have this gambling book with him. Yeah. Um, he calls everybody butthead. Yeah. Uh, that would, yeah, that's a big, yeah. That would be gamble huge. for, but also a big payoff. So, Dude, yeah. I'll send you a nice metal detector if you want. Oh my to. god! Like, yeah, just this one's on me. Just make sure you wand him at the studio. It's all yeah. Time. And I mean, it's... yeah, people already know where Mike lives, and we've already talked about how close and proximate <laughs> yeah. I am, and how small of a town it is. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, if he if he does his research, he'll he'll be at my doorstep. Like, he's looking in the window right now. Yeah, <laughs> just when I started thinking about it. Have you? had any apprehensions about people that you guys have talked about on there on little sneakers yeah um every single one everyone uh, <laughs> everyone that's like alive or has like relatives you know because like the last thing obviously everyone's going to interpret what we do in their own way and i've i've heard like uh like one or two people just kind of like misinterpret the concept of what we do and think we're just like making fun and like idolizing murderers and that's nothing what we're doing at all. No, we're just no. making fun of them so um yeah so the last thing i would want is like someone who's like a uh, a family member of a victim seeing this and then being like oh man like they're you know very just raising a lot of memories and shit like that that's the last thing i want but it's gonna happen either way right (laughs) no yeah but i think you guys do it uh exactly you do it so well that yeah you're you're all professionals You, you have a respectful element to it yeah. And, you I, know, most of it's just about talking about an interesting subject with your buddies. And you yeah. guys give each other shit more than you give the murderers shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah that's true. You know, and, yeah. you know, the victims, you, you may get a shot here or there in, but, you know, there, there's always an element of, you know, humanity to everything you do. That's the reason, honest to God, like, I listen to a lot of murder stuff. I do a lot of murder stuff. Yeah. You know, do a lot of murders. You guys, <laughs> like, are one of the things I decompress with, seriously. Oh, and, man. You know, I that's... It's not an easy thing for me to to do when it's still the same subject matter. So I mean, yeah, to know because you, you you really you bring a light and an air to a bad situation that but yeah ordinarily you know wouldn't be there. And you're the only people I've seen that could do it. But you're also like, thank ha- you, man, having a lot of fun outside of that as well. Like yeah. I told Mike when he started uh, when he was talking about his mom that a few, <laughs> I don't know what episode that was where he was talking about her her ass and (laughs) yeah like it it was so uncomfortable and so funny at the same time like we talked about his mom has an ass that won't quit (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) and he really goes into it and it's like uh, everybody was just like uh kind of like holding i don't know it was just it was we were very turned on that's that's why we were we weren't that's why we were actually charged episode Um, (laughs) yeah 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 and of course, the Mrs. Del Collar jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like that kind of stuff. You know, I don't know. It's just when you mix that in, it's just hard to. I think it would be hard for somebody to to take it as uh, you being, you know, cynical towards their loved ones. It's yeah. Um, and and like Mike saying that he, you know, here's another bad bitch I'm in love with or whatever. Oh like, my god! Obviously, no, that's a hundred percent real. Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I know two of them. It's yeah, real, that but... one. Yeah, jury's still out on that. Yeah, Look, Mike and I have connected over many things, and that is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, there um, was some. I think I mentioned this on one of the episodes. There was like a somebody I saw, like a, a nurse got arrested because she took a dead patient's wallet and just went to the vending machines and just bought a ton of candy bars. <laughs> yes. And I was like, I get what Mike goes through now. Yeah, I was like, this yeah. is a, yeah, yeah. yeah sometimes you just they live right here. You know, <laughs> they, they just right there in the old heart. Right. It's like she makes you. She does the things you want to do, and <laughs> she makes me better by being worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, it's, I don't. I, th- I think they should do a beauty pageant personally, dude. I, honestly, hold on. What you just said is like a real thing. I think that like is with all documentaries now. Is like that's why we're like the culture is so the not the culture uh, the <laughs> the culture uh, is, like our society is so. Not that like, what you're going to say, Jake. What was it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. They, um, yeah, they're they yeah, started it all, and yeah. we're no. What are you saying? Yeah, I don't want to speak for the culture, yeah. um, <laughs> but I will say for like our generation like our society is like so wrapped up in like horrible events right like the fire festival Mm -hmm. um all the like scheme like the money schemes the true crime the murders all the terrible events and i think it's like we can't get enough of that shit because you just said jason it's like it makes us feel better about ourselves Mm -hmm. you know what i mean it makes us feel better about our shitty life so we just like watch that and we're upset we just need more of it because every terrible thing we watch we're like we're better than this guy. We're better than this guy. And yeah. just like, it helps you like just survive. 100%. It's like, I also read it like the public freak out thing. I'm, I mentioned that all the time, but it like, yeah, you see these people doing these horrible things. And in your mind, it's like real time. This is happening all on the same day. And you're like, yeah. I'm not that person. Again, makes you feel good. But I also think it contributes to not to get alcohol off on a uh, tangent, but I also think it contributes to like this new level of, criminal or serial not criminal but serial killer or, yeah. or um the guy in idaho dude he had yeah. this whole thing about creating uh an image and he saw these people that became famous through uh murder essentially or, or doing bad things and yeah you know, I, I feel like it, it's a modern echo on previous psychological and personality societal structural problems it, it's mo- the motivation <clears throat> is has moved mm-hmm. why the psychological motivation is like it's a it's a bouncing ball but it's still it sort of the same thing yeah. yeah sort of same background not anyway. too serious yeah yeah anyway back to the culture let's uh what do you hate about no. <laughs> <laughs> well first off no. um <laughs> sorry it brought me back to this dumb thing i had in my mind yesterday and i don't know why i thought it was funny but i feel you're the guy to share it with oh yeah andy griffith watching pornography and telling oh. his friends about it <laughs> I don't know why it, but he's trying to explain that he watched it through a phone, but he's in the fifties. You can't watch shit through a phone in the fifties. No. Yeah. And I started work like, we just started firing shit back and forth. And I was like, we, I, we just got to stop and do this one night when we're drinking. That's it, was a, um, it was a <laughs> parody of one. It was an all male cast though. It was called gay Barry. Dickhead. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I did is I dialed Sarah on the phone and I had her watch a dirty movie and tell me all about it. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know if you're familiar at all with Andy Griffith, but it's, it's... I, I just remember my aunts watching it growing yeah. up. I just, yeah, it, I, it everything just... you just said, I just saw black and white. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then Floyd's yeah. sitting there listening to him with his pants down, just jerking. <laughs> Go on, Andy. What'd you say next? <laughs> Somebody burned this candle. <laughs> well, Edge, I don't know about this. That's oh, what he always man. said when he jizzed over his hand. Yeah. Somebody burned this candle, Andy. <laughs> Wax. Uh, yeah. I bought it from Uncle Ron. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, oh, just man. Fuck Otis in jail. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like Paul cuts, to a, <laughs> cuts to a manscaped ad. Yeah. <laughs> manscaped. Um, dude, so like, we you're uh with the show and everything has it like that crossed over in your stand-up as far as like uh people asking you weird questions after shows or like uh any of that weird weirdness yeah um no nah, you know not not too much mm-hmm. um thank god uh every now and then someone comes up and that's cool like i, I love that like i love when people come up but when it's when, when it's like a terrifying question like what would you do if you had three girls trapped in your basement. It's like, ah, I don't want to answer that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Would I? You mean, did I? Dummy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I am proud to admit though that I did just buy brand new shop lights, LED shop lights for my garage, and whew, hell yeah! Nice. Now my hostages can see clearly. Yeah. So <laughs> it's beautiful in there. At um, this point, have you really started like seeing a dude out at a club you're performing in and being like, you know, he's wearing a fatigue jacket? Maybe I will just go around him oh dude no i'm yeah. oblivious i am 100 okay. yeah it's john hinkley jr it's fine <laughs> yeah yeah dude i am so oblivious to all jam. that stuff <laughs> really oh man yeah man dude, i, w- I want to keep you around I, I don't want the diddler to get you again oh it, listen i am very gettable <laughs> you know what i mean like i am very easily capturable 
for many reasons. You're a um, sweet, sweet man. That's and, well. I was gonna yeah. also say that you're very, very, very funny stand up too. And I think, um, uh, you know, the the weirdness of one thing. You know, I don't know. I just uh, I was hoping that these yeah. some of these weirdos didn't cross over. It is cool but, that they come like they'll come to shows and say what's up afterwards, and we'll talk and stuff. Like that's always fun. Yeah. But no, no, like uh, threats on my life, unfortunately. Okay. And um, yeah. No, help me dispose of a body question. So good. I was just I was hoping that no one was like, you know what? Somebody got me too one time. So <laughs> you have like a real victim come up to you. You'd be like, no, it's a bit. Oh yeah, that yeah. God, amazing. that would be horrifying. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I, I hope I didn't just conjure that. I seriously <laughs> hope I did. I'm sorry, man. I... You know what? I hope you did. I, <laughs> I really hope you did because I could use some new material. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. well, dude, you guys are like, uh, well, fuck it, I'm in. Yeah, I think you should too. Yeah, yeah you know, go tell, go tell yeah. about what happened. Let's go was, do it. Yeah, I would say the uh, the Philly scene is, I mean, it's been blowing up, it's just getting yeah. bigger and bigger, man. Like it's hot. Like, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's it's nice to like, um, it feels like the internet has recognized Philly, uh, like the comedy scene, which is great. Um, yeah. personally, I, I, I mean, I think the internet is bigger than Philadelphia, but like. Philly, like I, I wish our hometown gave us more, uh, like love. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, oh, I understand. <laughs> like I, because like other cities I'll go to, like um, like I was just in San Francisco, uh, two three weeks ago, um, and like they have like weekly articles in the paper about their own comics. Like they're like names in their city, which is insane. Same with Boston. Like right. Yeah. I think like they did a something I saw that was really cool. They did like a year end list of like the best specials that come out and they just asked local comics uh who've been in the scene and then they commented on them and this it's in the Boston Globe. Like how freaking yeah. cool is that? Yeah Boston's like, had a long history of like their their strong local comedy scene. They've always yeah kept it, well kept I mean it. Philadelphia yeah. has too. Yeah. I think a lot of our guys leave before they do anything. You know what I mean? Like, so, but I mean, why not then try to glom onto that and then take, you know, take ownership, not ownership of like their ability, but like just the scene in general and kind of like nurture it. God, I sound like such a bitch right now, but no, 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 no. no. Uh, Like, yeah, we our bitch asses are thinking. No, no, it's (laughs) like a lot of the shows, like locally, like we have healing and punchline, which are great. And like those shows will always kind of be well attended because of like, um like just people know they exist but if there's like a local show happening like an independent show it's like people are struggling to get like five people there and you're like what dude like and these are like great comics on the lineups and you're like it's just a just injustice for everyone you know what i mean yeah yeah that's the nature of it yeah dude (laughs) and and it's crazy too because these comics that you're talking about are people that uh are great comics in that probably a couple of years now are going to be like the ones yeah. that people are paying to go in San Francisco and all these other places that um all these places across the country they're gonna be touring and yeah um you know I I think that's what's great about Philadelphia too is that there's you've got the full gamut of like uh you know the top of the top most famous yeah comedian you know all the way down to these up and comers but these up and comers are really really good too. Oh my god um yeah so yeah, like naeem and drew uh oh yeah. rob cruz like yeah uh, all those guys are so funny and like ryan foster I yeah there's yeah. a ton i'm gonna forget the name uh like J- jim jimmy gillespie have you guys talked to him yet yeah, no like, i mean uh, i've, I've met rami him. yeah right yeah. Rami's, uh, Rami's great um two times yeah so funny uh yeah she was just on recently right yeah yeah, yeah i i've been meaning to watch that one she she makes me laugh like in everything she does she's, she's so funny. so great She's a um, terrible person. I love her so much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah so awesome. Um, and the, like half those people I think I just named started like either in the pandemic or like right before the pandemic, which is that's awesome. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's so much, uh, so much good comedy right now, which is, which rules. It's crazy to think too that like the pandemic was uh, just a few years ago and like people- also fake. Good. Sorry. <laughs> so people were wondering what was going to happen with comedy in general. Like, are you going to yeah. ever be able to do this again? And now it seems to be um, hitting the stride again. People are, are yeah out supporting. It, people are going to shows again, which is nice. Yeah, and it's a great reset for a lot of reasons too, because people got so sick of just having to 
agree with everything and things be stringent, you know, instead yeah. of funny being what was important. Now funny yeah. is important. Yeah, that's yeah. the most important. It's very goddamn yeah, it's, important. It's taking the seat back the you know in the priority section because it's like for a while it's just confessional and that's mm-hmm. fine if that's what you want to do because you'll find your audience just like how we found our audience and like you know everyone has found their their audience um but yeah i think funny is the most important thing like over anything well i think a child smile is but you know we'll, we'll get back to that no, funny's better <laughs> please john go on about this child smile yeah, no, yeah. you're talking about well yeah. you know uh you know it yeah. can be whimsical it can be mysterious but it's uh, it could be in my basement it could be in the basement. it's definitely going to be in evidence yeah <laughs> it could be in one of those uh sewer things like in prisoners that movie yeah, oh, yeah. That? i thought you were going the ninja turtles route for a second oh, oh yeah this would be just, fun just delivering a pizza through the yeah. sewer grate just, uh, <laughs> the most iconic scene in any movie you're over 30 minutes late dude <laughs> Name a more iconic scene in a movie. I bet you can't. It's it's mm. handing the pizza through the sewer grate. I don't it's, know. Super Shredder in part two was pretty good. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I, I would like to see Pennywise also get a pizza from in it. When he Dude, got the that, that would have stopped it. Nah. I would want to see Pennywise watching Ninja Turtles and seeing like, oh shit, we can do that. We can just <laughs> live down here and eat pizza and not yeah. oh, kill man. children. Yeah. That would be awesome. What if he was a What do you think, turtles? John Hinckley Jr.? Uh, I got my own room in the city. I wrote a song about it. <laughs> um, I hope that no, nah, I'm not gonna say that. I almost said something that could be bad. <laughs> really I love yeah. when you when you pull the plug on your mid sentence on what you're yeah. I love when uh never mind. I can't yeah. say that. It was gonna yeah. be about Kristen Stewart, but I'm just gonna stop there because she played her daughter, Joan oh, Foster's daughter in something. Yeah. In uh Contact? No, in um what's the Panic Twilight. Room? Oh, Oh, Twilight also. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say Sparkly Vampire because I couldn't think of the movie. <laughs> Honestly, Sparkly God. Vampire. That would have been remember. a better name for it. Yeah, and well, I never saw those movies. I, I didn't either. I didn't have a girlfriend. Though. I always fa- I just hit. Oh, I did. Just fast I was forward. there. I was there breaking. Uh, breaking night. I was there opening night. <laughs> Front of the line. You know. You were breaking dawn. Yes, I was breaking dawn. That I was, was her breaking name. Breaking dawn. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I forgot what we're talking about. Oh, but yeah, comedy. Stewart. No, we're talking about comedy <laughs> being uh, being funny again. Yeah, no, we we're definitely yeah. talking about Chris Stewart, and you stopped. I'm just saying. Look, man. Yeah, he wants to. Phone. He's like, <laughs> how easy? He's like, Let's get, get off the, the Kristen Stewart stuff. Uh, how do you get rid of the saying? cloud? How do you get rid of the cloud? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the cloud? Yeah, I have a lot of things in the cloud. You're gonna need to Google that. Man, yeah, I. That's the like one thing you know when they say when someone dies like they're always worried about like the items in their house like the most embarrassing mm-hmm. things like if someone sees like my Google search history I'm fucking done yeah like yeah it's it's very alarming oh I know not no, like get... not no yeah not mean stuff just like the dumbest questions you know you can set it to automatically clear like every however many days right it's still there somewhere what's that you can set it to automatically clear however many days. Huh. Let me, hold on, right yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll message you. I'll, I'll send you. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 We're good. <laughs> ah, mine's still there. I'll I want... take care of you, Jake. I love you, man. <laughs> I wanted. I wanted to know. Like, no, but I hear you, man. I'm afraid to hand my phone to anybody just in case, like, they type in something and oh, man. whatever the auto auto fill is. God, yeah. I wouldn't touch your phone. Good. Yeah. If you poured luminol on that, it'd be just dude. I swear to Christ, every time I see it purple. ringing, every time I see it ringing, do I not say, "Hey, your phone's ringing"? Yeah, I, I don't touch it. No way. Smart man. Yeah, yeah. look like a light don't put your princess house. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> glowing. You know what though? That's okay. I mean, yeah, it's natural. It's better than the, taking it out in the real world, I guess. Right? Taking what out? Whatever. You know, whatever you got inside. Stabbing hobos, whatever it is you're yeah. doing in the supermarket. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, yeah, that's true. You don't stab hobos in the supermarket. You stab meat. Dude, oh, I don't even man. see the blood. And it's just a, it's like, oh. it's practice. It's like Rocky. <laughs> Dude, all of my, like, I don't, I don't know about you guys. Like, whenever I open anything anymore, like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, any of that stuff, it's like, the moment I open up, it's just, they're just throwing videos at me. Right? Yeah. And I can't stop. Like, it's fucked up my life so bad. It's just I can't stop watching. And the shit like that it thinks I like, I don't. It's just but I can't stop watching it because they it's keep the throwing it at me. Weirdest shit that pops up on those uh like if you search for somebody, you're looking for somebody's name, 
Yeah. And then all those videos are below it. The shit. Yeah. I, I don't know. This shows that AI is still fucked up because you're right. It doesn't know you at all. Or maybe, maybe it knows, it knows us too well. Yeah. 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 I'm proud to say that I have fucked up my YouTube algorithm so bad. I get ads in Korean and Spanish. Whoa. So I feel pretty good about it. I get a that's, lot of big ass shaking, and that's fine. I understand that part. It knows it. You. Yeah. It knows but you. then there's some other things that I just don't. I just, just big don't get. dongs shaking in front of you. Like, yeah, oh, and man, I, yeah. And I get that too, because I'm yeah. like, yeah. It I mean, really knows me. <laughs> yeah, it knows exactly. <laughs> it knows the me inside of me. No, shit. Like, mine is just women at coffee shops and in parking lots just arguing. <laughs> they don't even fight. That's what drives me. Like, I'm like, how much of a bitch am I internally? <laughs> That this is my this is my selected algorithm. Just women like, hey, hey, I was going to park there. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, film me, film me. I swear to Christ, none of the other stuff we talked about has scared me, but that scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> it's just that, and then it's just people getting pulled over, and then it's just like, let's see how Officer McDonald oh, handles this thing? interaction. And it's just like, yeah, dude, I had no interest in that. Now I watch all of those as well. Yeah, and I'm like, I have no stake in this because it's the same fucking thing every time. Yeah. He I will gets, not give you my information. Oh, yeah. yeah. What is what have I done wrong? Then there's seven cops there. He gets yeah. either beaten down or yeah. just like, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with Officer McDonald. I, you know, what why am I be am I being detained? Am I being oh. it's just like, all right, dude, we get it. Like, yeah. On both sides of it, I, I'm like, both all of you are assholes. Well, I don't, yeah. here's the thing. I still watch it. If you don't make yeah. a cop chase you, I know this from experience, then he's not gonna ever respect you. So, like, definitely start off with a good vehicle chase. Get the blood yeah. flowing. And You're giving me terrible advice. No, like, Jason it's... said I should do this. <laughs> it's like a, I think it's true. Like it, a fat... it, was his last name Zod? That ain't no motherfucker. <laughs> that ain't a real name. Yeah, that's not your real name. I about went into a, I went about went into a Richard Breyer bit that I shouldn't. Say. <laughs> what kind of name is that for? Yeah, <laughs> the source. Yeah, the Dracula you... bit's gonna be. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my god. So um, fun. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Just yeah, it just like we know. Just I don't know. I I shouldn't get into what to do with cops, right? Oh no, 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 no do it. It's, it's fine. Trust me. I, <laughs> I've lived on both sides of it. It's you know. Yeah. You're not gonna you're not gonna offend me, and you're not gonna surprise me. I would say about seventy eight percent of cops are assholes. Maybe more. Maybe more. Would I feel say? like if you're not an asshole and you become a cop, you become an asshole because you become more of one. But they, well, yeah, like, because people are dicks, and like they oh, also yeah. like they walk all like they. If you give an inch, like people will take a mile, right? Like they they'll just walk all over you. So it's like you have to become a dick to like it, you know preserve yourself. There's also those that are just fucking that wanted to bully somebody around or were bullies yeah. before, and they just that's true. find their place in life to do that, so they become a cop, and. Those are the ones that usually are the ones that uh, are the funniest. Are the yeah, they're the ones that do those funny videos <laughs> like that we saw the other day mm -hmm. with the beatings. Oh and the, God, no! No, Jesus I mean not funny. I said wrong. It wasn't funny. <laughs> Fuck! No, no, no. no. It, was, it was a fun show to do. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a good run the last few years. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's two types of people, generally speaking: those who have the authority issues and really want to be in charge of someone because yeah, they can't control themselves and have no mastery over self. Yeah. And people who want to help folks. It sounds like a Foxworthy bit. Let's do it. Well, you might be a bad cop. <laughs> you might be a, a dumb yeah. cop if. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, yeah. do it. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. If you pull someone over and don't use your siren, but just your blue lights, you might be a dumb cop. <laughs> I'd probably kill it train in police training. Yeah, if you, you ask them to step out of the car and they haven't even done anything, oh. <laughs> you might be a dumb cop. If you shoot somebody <laughs> and take, no, I'm not yeah. going to go. If, if you, <laughs> I'll if stop. If you ask someone to get out the car and they say, hold my beer, and you do, you might be a bad <laughs> cop. That's the way to do it right there. Hey, oh, you know what? Speaking of bad, not bad cops, but um, we're talking about murders. Do you guys up in your area, Jake, yeah. I think there might be a serial killer in your area. Yeah, like he's now he's on the show with him. Yeah, and yeah. Yo, that, what are you talking about? I well, don't know what you're talking about. Well, I know they found a woman in a mattress near wow. in um, Delco. I don't know where exactly. Now, it was. Yeah, I I heard that. Yeah, that was um 
that was actually a, a um a sponsored uh Serta <laughs> stunt. So no, oh damn it. <laughs> Her sleep number mattress. is. <laughs> What's your number? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Foster care apedic. Yeah. Dude, I, I I don't know what's going on. I I get all my news from Nickelodeon now. You know, oh, after you talking <laughs> after talking side. with Mike so much, it's it's like I need to just refresh the brain. Mike 100%. likes Mike likes talking about murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, well, Nintendo does have the awesome spli- uh, slime Nickelodeon. Football. I mean, Nick, what did I say? Yeah. What did I say? Nintendo. Nintendo. Why did the fuck did Nintendo come? Nickelodeon has the uh, the slime football game yeah so. that's pretty cool yeah, yeah that is pretty neat they should do that yeah. with the world news too they should. <laughs> every night yeah, as long yeah. as you don't have a yeah. uh, dan what's his name running it you're good to go <laughs> oh from uh the nickelodeon was he in the head of the class head of the class he was dennis and head of the class mm-hmm. some yeah. other stuff i forget his last name right now but why is all the slime white <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yeah yeah Dude, man, that would be fun. Just like, oh, right today, riots in Bosnia. Two hundred people died, and <laughs> oh, he said the magic word. Oh no, he said what? It was like on, <laughs> yeah. uh, you can't do that on television yep. back in the day. Whenever you said water, water, you gotta, yeah, you hit with water. What's the slime word? What? What? Okay, so they would be just constantly just green jizzed all over him. That would be a, yeah. See, I think the ratings for the news would go up a hundred percent if you did it, that. It'd be like having Trump back for him. <laughs> yeah, this dude, one we needed. Do one of those hot fox ladies. Yeah, get, fox get, ladies. get in the water. Right outfit. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Man, oh, you're talking about on Fox. On Fox. Yeah. I didn't know if you turned into like a, a furry, a, a 70s. I'm good either way. 70s funk singer. Hey, oh, that reminds me. Did you get the? Um, did you get one of those um hot fox lady uh calendars this year? No, I need to. No. All right, no. I need a calendar. I'll, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll show you my. I'll send you the info for my for my guy. Thank you, Jake. Yes, they're all they're all candid green room photos. So, <laughs> so yeah. Here you show. Uh, this is the the protesting down, and we can see who she's pointing at to blame. <laughs> Why you get that the old philosopher's hand there? Well, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. like he's on the green screen. <laughs> you know, the, the Greek senator pleading is like. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see these people <laughs> on this side. Yeah. Um, what's that one girl? What's that one's uh, name? The like, she looks like Sarah Palin a little bit. The new one, Bobert or something. Lauren Bobert. Yeah, she's in yeah. Congress. Yeah. Yes, Congress. She's she, a yeah. She's not a reporter. She's yeah. She, she had a like a Hooters style restaurant where they all carry guns. Whoa! Was that really? Did she really do that? Yeah, dude. For real. She. I think she still owns the place. So what? Is, like. So they dress like essentially like the copy Hooter style, and then they have a holster. It was like skimpy, like maybe super tight jeans, jean shorts, Daisy Duke yeah. style. Like you can and, look at us, but you're going to respect us, right? Or I kind of admire that. Yeah. Or they're going to shoot a hole in something they didn't intend. Hey, Dude, I, think Hooters, yeah. <laughs> I think all Hooters here. I think all Hooters. Hey, you Hooters eyes up here should have uh, should definitely should have a gun on them. Sure. Yeah. Train, train though you want oh my god training in there that reminds me when we were in uh florida doing the stuff uh for the murder field trip um we were right it was our last day and we jokingly go to hooters in orlando and the girl's like so what are y- y'all doing it's just me uh john and mike at the table and, and danny and uh it's like what are you guys doing here are you on vacation and like we just did not want it to look like we were on vacation. <laughs> and Mike does something way worse. He goes, "Oh, well, we're we're doing a podcast." I was like, "Stop, Mike! Don't." Yeah. And anyway, he goes, "Uh, <laughs> so oh. yeah, we're doing a, a true crime podcast about uh Casey Anthony." So, like, oh yeah, she's a girl from blah blah blah. And he's like, "She murdered her daughter." And it's like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, allegedly, and. uh <laughs> He was very, very clear to correct her on that. Alleg- he's like, yeah, do you, yeah, he's like, do you remember that? And she goes, oh, no, I was five. Yeah. Oh, but she's the Hooters gonna be, waitress. That oh, she's going to no. be on the next shift, shift at six yeah. if you won't wait. How, how, oh, old, how old was uh, Kaylee Anthony? I think she was three, right? Yeah. So yeah. this girl was two years older than her. T- <laughs> yeah. So, Holy and, fuck. and we're like, you know, we're doing like that wolf cartoon as she's walking by, like, yeah. giving us everything. Ooh, drinks. That, that, that. And we're like, oh my God. Wow. That's, yeah. She was five. And she's already like, you know, 
have like in her early 20s i guess right so like she's not even like young young i mean she is young but like yeah she's not like 18 year old young but still right. she's an adult where am i going like, with this she's yeah just, she's, she's just beyond saying i'm this been. many yeah <laughs> it's okay to call her hot yeah, yeah without dude, having to erase it from your phone yeah it was yeah it was just like soul crushing when she's like i was five we we're like oh my god what are we doing see you're you're still young enough to where you haven't settled into being a man of any particular age yet when that oh, finally hits yeah. you you're gonna be a lot more like mike and they're like i don't care i just, well, <laughs> I just don't give a fuck anymore i'll i'll tell you this i don't think i'm gonna get there you don't think so <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna, my brain capacity is like 14 year old i'm like it's gonna convince me that until i'm dead Oh, you're not going to get any more mature. That's not it. It's just that you're not going to care after a while. Oh, okay. Okay, That's great. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a nice approach to take. But when, when, uh, when we were in Philly, Mike took us to uh, Pika's. Oh yeah. And so the waitress, like I was trying to dream about that, trying to be nice and respectful, but the waitress comes over and says, she's this older lady, like Mm -hmm. probably 73, seventies. Right. Nice. Oh my God, I'm dripping wet tonight. And can't say that to us. Like, dude, I just fought it off as long as I could. And I look at Mike and he's like laughing, you know, like smiling. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, this is, this is where I am. I'm okay with it. <laughs> it That's never so gets, great. Never gets older. And then I, you know, we pulled the, the London bridge on her in the bathroom and everything was, all good. <laughs> actually was dripping wet. And yeah, rather spry. Yeah. Flexible. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't have thought so. You'd have thought that balsa wood bridge would have gone down, but no, sir. No, Hell you have to, she you have to keep a, it tight to be a server. Good to sure. She if she knew course trick. She knew exact. She knew how to fill every hole. That's all I'm gonna say. Is that yeah. too? Is that too vague? Or, no, I think, oh. I think you wait. She filled every hole, mm-hmm. John. In yes. okay, her. I mean, no, no, she got us too. No, you us you too? said oh, yeah. she, you yeah. said she knew how to fill every mm-hmm. hole. What oh. holes? Well, everybody was filled up with everything. It was just oh it was, wow! It was a plug fest. Dude. It, was, it was a real buffet, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She just uh... it was a real fire hydrant <laughs> delight. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't know. There's just a choco taco sticking out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know what is cannolis going. I was like, oh, here's the bill. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you swipe it in there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was good times. Um, yeah. Pika well, rules. I'm glad you guys, Mike, took you guys there because it's, yeah. it's a good spot. Did we have such shitty pizza in North Carolina that uh, it was it was good to actually get really, you know? Good yeah, dude, it's surprising. Like you know, I've lived in this bubble uh, and became it. Um, but um, like even going down to like Virginia Beach, just the pizza is like completely different. Yeah, sad. Everywhere, Very. I mean, I guess everybody's got their di- different styles, but it's like to actually find really good pizza in north carolina it's you've got to drive to maryland no you can go to there's a like a place in charlotte and there's one in yeah one actually uh, not too far from here and then i mean they're spread out but the the outer banks have like some of the best ones because all the wealthy the, people well and the italian vacation. gangsters who hide out there that so. too yeah they hide yeah. in the outer banks there oh, yeah. there was a, a contingent at one time many of them have died off of italian gangsters from new jersey who moved to the Outer Banks in Eastern North Carolina? Yeah, and just started over and started like a bunch I don't of understand stuff. that because like the Outer Banks, I've been there once and it was beautiful. And I think my family might go back this year. Um, I don't know. I don't want to because I think they want to do lab- like Labor Day weekend. And I'm like, Ugh. like the thing, yeah, exactly. Like with Outer Banks, it's you can only get in and out the one way. Yeah. So that's going to be a, a shit show. And I figure if you're a gangster trying to hide. The last place you want to be is like a place that has one entrance and exit. Well, you can travel all the way down and go to the very end, which is like, God, I don't know how long that drive well, is. Four okay. or five hours. Yeah, to, they're okay you, with it because they can see you coming. Okay, I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. There's like, they weren't afraid of the feds. <laughs> yeah. Damn. But yeah, Fuck. an odd bit of North Carolina history. That's a, it, when you were up here, did you see any of the mo- the cool mob stuff up here? Like, were any of the ex- house explosions or highway shootouts took place or any of that? No, no, we we were mostly all business. But as you were talking about not getting recognized in your own hometown, we got recognized more in Philadelphia by a factor of twenty than we ever have here. Oh, that rules! That's the, awesome. Yeah, 
for this. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I mean, there's people, yeah, I, I want to clarify. I, I mean, people are cool. Like people rule. Uh, it's more like the, the Philly the town the, itself. The, the yeah. media. The, yeah. The, the, yeah, the, the people city. who, the gatekeepers, but we don't need them. Right. No, no. clearly. Yeah, so that was what's yeah, cool so, about um, the, like the pandemic, not, you know, there was a lot of cool about the pandemic. No. One thing cool about the pandemic was that you could go past the gatekeepers. People were watching um, yeah. things on their computers and not watching. Like Gillian Keeves. Well, yeah, yeah all that stuff. Starring Jake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would say uh, uh, surprise appearance. <laughs> yeah. Dude, <laughs> no, it's still one of my favorite things in the world. You with that fucking hat, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I wish you. they would have let me keep that. Uh, I, I wear it every day. I'm telling you. Well, yeah. it was a in the the speech. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying you could get past it. Yeah. I love the speech, man. It was go. so good. Yeah, they rule, man. Yeah, it was so much fun. I don't really care for the John's all right, I guess. <laughs> um oh, before we let go, man, I wanted to ask you uh big football. Yeah. Game, you know, the Super Bowl, your team is in it. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, what's what's the score going to be? It still feels through? unreal. Um I think I you know I don't want to I'm afraid to say you know what I mean I'm oh. I'm like a very uh, super natural I was gonna say superficial that's wrong supernatural that's also wrong oh, that definitely uh, superstitious that's yeah yeah, yeah. supernatural um, awesome. <laughs> yeah I just like I'm I had like big supernaturals if you know what I mean <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> super natties hell yeah, yeah. Uh, I do I. I, I've been like cautious, but this, this is going to be a big game. Obviously, this is a long time coming because we still, as a city, idolize Andy Reid and we love Andy Reid, right? So, yeah. um, this is going to, it's like a bittersweet thing, but I truly think like we have, we have the squad to do it. So, I want us to kick their ass. I want us to just, just destroy them. And decimating because it's like Mahomes, you know what I mean? Like he's yeah. the guy now, especially since yep. Brady retired. Yeah, he's big so, evil now. Yeah. So uh and I dude, and I love Mahomes. I think he's great. I think he's an awesome quarterback. Kelsey's cool as shit. Like yep. um, it's gonna be cool to see those two brothers face yeah. off against each other. It's the civil war of football. <laughs> I like I'm expecting it. I don't I'm not gonna say I I will not say a blowout, but I will expect it to be. I'm expecting a comfortable win for the Eagles. Yeah. If that's like, if I can be any more vague. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I think that they are going to get in Mahomes head early. And if that succeeds, if that strategy succeeds, yeah. Then my prediction is that both teams will score over 17, but I do believe that the Eagles will win by what you, yeah, as you said, I, kind of a comfortable lead. I think it's going to be at least two or three scores. And I think if the Chiefs pass 17, I think the highest they're getting will be maybe like 23 yeah. yep 23 or 26 would be like where they're going to end up I, and I, I think the eagles will probably be 37 uh or even like was it 43 is what we mm-hmm. won the last one by so maybe something up around there so god i hope i hope i'm right i hope i didn't just ruin it for us all well, you, you you got uh you've got a new career as a sports booker if that pans no, well i was Whew. i was looking at each team you know the chiefs they have Kelsey, they don't. I guess Pacheco's sort of coming into his own as a runner, but mm-hmm. not really. And you've got these guys who sort of scattered out, you know, MVS and um, um, what's his name? Um, Hardeman. Those guys mm-hmm. aren't really, they're not all pro level as you look on the other side of the field. You've got Jalen Hurts who can do it all, basically. Yeah. And, and Mahomes, Great quarterback, but if his injury plays into it, that's you know, that's that, the last thing I want to. That's like what I was worried about with San Francisco is like, oh well, Brock got hurt, so you know that you know yeah. it's like you're already on your fourth string quarterback to begin with, or third string quarterback to begin right. with. That should should have, and, uh, and I hope that like that doesn't become the narrative of this championship. Is like, well, Mahomes had an ankle injury, so you, you know what I mean, clean. and he overcame yeah, exactly. it, and then, yeah. yeah, or yeah, that's the excuse. So there was yeah, uh, but I, I still think. uh just the Eagles from top to bottom have the best team that I thought early on in the year. Um, I'm still in shock, like in denial about it. I'm like, just cause it's been too easy. You got two stud receivers. Yeah. Um, You got, you know, pr- pretty decent running game. You got a, all sorts of runners on the team too. 
Yeah. So we've got I I don't know, man. I just think uh I think it's there. I think the there are more positives on the Eagles than than the Chiefs. Yeah. So I think that you you know 37 23. That's what it is. 37 23. I, I like is. it. I, I did, like it. I, um I had to let it process in my head, but yeah, I accept it. 37 23. And if if Jalen Hurts gets hurt, Nick Foles is gonna come in. Magic he's in, he's done. He's oh, I know, yeah. Well, yeah, he got hurt in the fucking Indianapolis. Their mm-hmm. shitty offensive line let him fucking get slaughtered. Well, dude, the lines are not like, what they used to be, man. Hey, thank God we that coach is gone from Indianapolis, and now he coaches the fucking Panthers. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Did you guys? Uh, uh, oh wait, wait who? Wait who's coaching the pan? Uh, Jeff said, yeah, Wright. or not? I was gonna say Jeff Saturday, dude. I I don't know what's going on with Reich. I don't know if he's gonna be good or not. You know. Like, well, I mean, the he third brought... one we've had. Th- third right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <No. laughs> I apologize. That's good. No, no, that's this perfect. is my struggle, okay? <laughs> oh, okay? Oh, wow. Uh, I have to actually go to yep. uh, my friend's all black podcast, uh, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I do. I think, I think he's great. Like what he did with Carson Wentz in Philadelphia in that year, like we went to the Super Bowl last yeah. time, was unbelievable. So, like, he can he can do something right, so um, yeah. I think he was kind of dealt a shitty hand. Like if if Philip Rivers would have not retired, I think they maybe would have had a like a a better run, but they yeah. really went. The Wentz thing was such a mistake, and you think teams would have learned from that before the Wilson thing happened. But how about that trade? By the way, the uh, they traded away their first and second round pick this year for. Yeah. Coach, uh, Coach Payton. Yeah, that's crazy. That's I, yeah. But you know, that can create a culture. I don't know, man. Like, yeah, I don't know. So, I, yeah, you we'll can see. talk about it all day. Long. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, we'll talk yeah. about it all day long, especially with him because yeah, I, I Panthers plays him play him twice a year and I've yeah. seen him so many times. And um, but I don't know, man. Uh, good luck to them, I guess. Go you birds, know. man. For fucking sure. Oh That's yeah, right. for, for the Eagles. Go birds. Sure. That's right. Yeah, Jake, we've taken up a lot of your time. We fucking love you, dude. Hey, Little I love stickers. you guys. Um, where else? I'm sorry. We're, Check I, out Jake on YouTube. his YouTube channel. Is fucking great. He's got a special. Oh, thank out. you. Yes, and he's got some older skits and stuff he's done that I still yeah. fucking watch and laugh my ass at. I'm trying to figure out something new to do. So if you have any ideas, <laughs> yeah, I'll send them to you, dude. You're you're yeah. one of the funniest people I know. And yeah, we know a lot of hilarious, you. great thank guys. You, you guys are the best. Um, and uh, you know, I can't wait to see what you do next, man. It's, and you uh, guys are like the most like supportive bunch there is, dude. I can't tell you how much we appreciate you guys, dude. And like the podcast rules, like everyone you have on is always like such an awesome guest. So uh, I'm honored to be here, dude. Thank you, dude. You're you're welcome anytime. Thank it you for coming on. Seriously. Oh man. It, it, it uh, you know, we really appreciate it for sure, for real. Yeah. So, um, but, but I think I'm gonna be coming down to North Carolina soon. And when I do, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna sure. we're gonna mud wrestle. We're gonna oh, do yes. something. something we're gonna hot. film it. Too. I'm gonna dig a big hole for that one. Yeah, we're gonna get in it. <laughs> gonna get down. I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna go to Walmart and get the biggest inflatable. Pool oh right man, at. gonna get now down in it. Cool man. There I'm gonna go, show baby. up like, hey guys, sorry, I'm so wet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to delete that off the uh, the cloud for that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Jake. Thank you right, again, guys. buddy. We'll we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All right, Later, brother. All right. God bless. Bye. <laughs>